<laughs> no, that's wonderful. I mean, that's what drew me in. I mean, I had thought about whether Peace of Peace should be a nonprofit since I decided to go to initiator training myself um, just because I was like, it can't just be for an elite group who have disposable income all at once to be able to give to this tradition. Mm -hmm. And it has to be able to reach communities and serve people and have them to be able to practice on their own and grow and flourish and um, not be reliant on having an app or having <laughs> with their phone on them every single time they want to meditate or even having to go to a studio especially since i mean the relativity of like we talk about food deserts all the time but there's also wellness deserts that are just so prevalent across this country and if you don't live in a certain zone of your city the chance of you having a meditation studio a yoga studio that you can get to easily is really hard but if you can go in and teach people self-sufficient technique and they can take it and continue and follow up with you and have that lifetime of follow up. It can really create that impact. And so um, I just really love um, the model of these large groups so that there's a community feel to the practice of you're not just doing it alone. You have the support of all of these other people who are sitting next to you and closing their eyes for 20 minutes. So I'm just so excited for it. Yes, me too. I mean, the, immune, the immunity will boost. Uh, people will get that deep, deep rest. You know, I had that experience that first day. So I know it's going to make a huge, huge difference to people. And a relatedness. Like, you know, my teaching is very down to earth. And uh, pretty, you know, I'm pretty transparent in the way it is. And how I came to it wasn't by simply, oh, I'll do some wellness thing. It was life or death for me. I needed to find something. Or like yourself, I, I was going to go down the rabbit hole. And this meditation pulled me up out of the quagmire and brought something back that really, truly, to only ever keep it is to give it away. And how can I find a vehicle to be able to teach it to people who really can't? I mean, getting to the community center is hard enough. Uh, you know, the Obama phone does not have all the app capabilities, you know. <laughs> I, and there seems to be not a space where people are understanding that. And whether I'm called to that, no matter what color my skin is, no matter what accent I have, you know, coming to this country, which is very capitalist, which is part of the reason why I came to the United States to fulfill the American dream. And now seeing how immigrants are being marginalized, even though that's what they're trying to do, do that American dream. And we have this huge gap now and absolutely hopefully aware we'll get strong enough and we'll have more grants that we can actually start having our teachers be able to be in this whole collaboration and we will have something a mark of something that is way greater than ourselves really making a difference across uh wherever it's guided so you know uh those people who are watching now who feel inspired and love it you know subscribe to the channel uh, contact us you know we are starting up to get grants and sponsorship to be able to teach people or if you have a community that you know would want to show up and take seriously a four session four day course to learn the meditation we want to hear from you we want to get as many people on board to help us out because this endeavor is far bigger than myself I can and I hope that we can, by 2021, really have done some great, great events and really start to change uh, some people's lives. Do you have anything you want to add? <laughs> yeah, no, that was beautifully said. Um, I'm just so appreciative to be able to jump in and collaborate with you and do these videos and some of the other events like the Guru Purnima that we did. Um, and I'm just looking forward to being able to really get the word out um, and hear back from people. We're here to serve them. We're here to serve everyone who's watching this, um, regardless of 
what community they're from or anything. Um, we're just here to be of service and to make this accessible to everybody who wants to learn. Um, that's something that I've said from day one is that I'm here to teach just anyone who really wants to put in that effort um, for a practice because it does work. It takes a lot of dedication and you just have to stick with it and it really does make a difference in your life. And so um, anyone willing to kind of invest in that and with their time and energy, then I want to be there to support them every way they can. Beautiful, beautiful. 